Hello, my friends. I am here to do something that is long overdue, and that is your Windsor Market Update. Okay, thank you for joining me back here super quickly. Those who I've spoken to about Windsor, they know that I prefer you, if you're gonna be an investor rather than an end user, I prefer you to be in a specific area. And that area is around the border, like the border of Canada and the United States. So there is both a bridge and a tunnel and I prefer you to be close to the university. If you're going to invest in Windsor, I want there to be a reason why you have to be there. So we're almost done, bear with me. Now our shape is complete. So this is the area I prefer everyone to be in. Realistically, it says there's 475 potential listings. Let's go through and even still, where I would prefer River Riverdale is really nice, but realistically, the best area for investment properties is gonna be. Oh, my gosh. Okay, like that. Uh, there is a tunnel over here to the States. Uh, tunnel is, he no, this is the bridge. There's a tunnel over here to the States. Uh, and then the university is over here. So let's go in and do a really quick criteria. Let's even say, I frankly don't love the properties that are 190 or less, but 400, you can get like a really gorgeous property. So let's just say active listings. Let's see what we do with this and see numbers wise what we come up with. So it says there's 125 listings quite a few in the 199 area. Lots of, I haven't really gone through anything. This video is getting much longer than I intended it to be. So I'm gonna hurry up, but let's pick a few properties just to kind of go through. So this is on the market for 199,888. It is a raised detached bungalow. It's a three bedroom, one washroom. It is in downtown Windsor, which if you want an investment property, that's where you want to be. You don't want to be on the outskirts. The outskirts are all farm, farm land and fairly rural. Um, you want there to be a, re a reason you need to be there. So let's go into the middle. So that's one for 199. Let's see what we can get for, let's say, I don't know, 299. Let's, okay. 299, 900. This is once again, raised bungalow, detached. It's a two bedroom with two in the basement or a separate unit and two bathrooms. fully renovated in the inside. Really good investment opportunity. I'm realistically flicking really fast because I said this would be less than 60 seconds. Okay, so here's the second unit. Let's not get it twisted though. Uh, the backyard needs to be manicured, no question asked. Oh, what did I just do? This is the second unit. So it's fully enclosed. And then let's go, what am I doing? I wanna go and see a unit that's on the higher end and see what you can possibly get for it. So I haven't, like I'm just picking at random. 
Maybe good, maybe not good. $3.99, it's currently tenanted. It's a duplex though, that's great. So you have one unit with three bedrooms and the other unit with three bedrooms and you do have two bathrooms. So this is actually, you might have to fix it up a little bit. It's looking a little bit dated, but you have two opportunities to have income coming into this property. So this actually is a really good unit. Let's just do one more. What do we got? $3.99, detached, three bedroom plus one in the basement, two washroom. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh no, you know what? I don't like my, that my closet is so far. I would like it closer to the door, but beyond that, we are looking at a detached freehold, no condo fee house for $3.99. So this was your market update in, I know I told you I'm not going to be great at doing 60 second market updates, but you get my drift. There is 125 properties in Windsor under the price point of 400,000 in a good investment area. So just thought that I would share that with you. Hope you're well. If you have any questions, let me know.